Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of BHNN. I'm Aiden Schwartz. And I'm Colin Fisher, and we're going to take you this week's current events. I'm Ben Phillip, and welcome to Current Events. At the they will be selling certified GOAT t-shirts during both lunches starting next week for only $15. Make sure to get yours if you don't have a shirt to wear to the football game next week. Don't forget, next week's homecoming week, so here are all the themes for the days. Monday is color day. Freshmen are wearing green, sophomores are wearing red, juniors are wearing blue, and seniors are wearing white. Tuesday is parents day, so just about as your parents did in high school or as they do right now. Wednesday is world day, so dress up as your favorite culture. Thursday is space day, dress up as an alien or some kind of space themed. Friday, moms, Garters, purple out. You know the drill. Wednesday is now country and western day. Ladies and gentlemen, for only pennies a day, and I mean pennies a day, you could help Bernie High School change Western Day back to World Day. We would all really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ben. And next up, we're taking you to this week's sports updates. Oh. Good morning, Bernie High School. I'm Colin. And I'm Dominic. And this is this week's football update. Last week, us Bernie Greyhounds, we went to Harlandale for a Thursday Night Lights uh, football televised game. And sadly, the game got canceled five minutes before halftime due to rain and bad weather. What can you do? What can you do? Didn't get a win. It didn't count for anything, although we were up 14 to 12 right before the game got canceled. So it's all right. There's man. nothing you can do. There is nothing. But this week we got Fredericksburg this Friday at 7.30 at Fredericksburg ISD Stadium, our rival, so be there. Or be square. Hello Bernie High School, I'm Bailey and I'm here with tennis team doubles, Tyler Roberts and Alex Hackett. So guys, after the hard loss against Fredericksburg last week, how do y'all prepare to play against Wimberley next week? Well, coach got us doing some different drills in practice. We're starting to move our feet a little bit more. We're trying to get ready with the win. Yeah, Wimberley's gonna be, um, we're close to Wimberley, so we're really working hard this week to prepare and uh, hopefully come out on top. Awesome. So how do y'all think y'all are going to do in playoffs this year? Well, losing a lot of seniors last year, we're really not, we thought we weren't, we weren't looking as hot, but um, we've had some good uh, freshmen and we've been working really hard to practice, so I think we have a good shot. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. What's up, Bernie High School? I'm Carson Day here with the Volleyball Update. Volleyball was on a four-game win streak, and they lost a tough one to Harlan in five sets. And they are now up to 13 wins on the season, and they play Canyon Lake tonight at home. Be there. Hey VHS, I'm Ben Phillip here with the Cross Country Update. Today we have Max Rohrbau. So I heard last Saturday y'all had to meet. How was that? Yeah, pretty good. We had a very tough course to run and a lot of the team uh, improved. We had a lot of people uh, get their personal records and season records. And uh, as, a, as a whole, we tended to pack more and we had our, all of our times were better and yeah. So what does a Bernie High School cross country practice look like? So usually we get there early in the morning. We do some stretches. And after we stretch, we go and do uh, a warm-up mile or 10 minutes, depending, you know, on the day. And then we'll go do either a workout or a long run or a pace run, something like that. And then when we're done, we come back to the high school and then we, uh, we do a cool down and then stretch more. And then we're good to go. Nice. Well, thank you for your time, Max. Thank you. Thank you to all of our BHNN sports reporters. And up next, we'll take you to a Bernie Band update. How's it going, Bernie High School? We're here with our very own Madison Graham from the Bernie High School Band. 
also with my boy Aiden Snook and your boy Donna Garcia. We're here to talk about the game coming up this Friday. We're going against Fred. It's their homecoming. We're going to destroy them. Second off, Saturday, we got a competition coming up for the Bernie Greyhounds, the Band Boys. It's going to be this Saturday. It's also, also going to Fred. <laughs> also at Fred. Awesome. So that's going to be exciting, I guess. Hopefully. Probably will be. What are your thoughts on that competition that's going on this Saturday? I'm excited, man. She's excited. You know who else is excited? Me. All right. <laughs> Thank you, and good luck to the band. And last up, we're taking you to Nurse's Corner and Jeff's Coat. Morning, Greyhounds. Nurse Gish here. Today, I'm going to show you what I do for you when you come in complaining of sore throats and allergies. You really need to wash uh, your face and hands every night before you go to bed. So make sure you shower before you go to bed. But when you come in and you have a sore throat, I'm gonna fix you up some salt water. I'll put a little bit of salt water in here, a little bit of salt in there. Have this warm water. I have you gargle with this salt water and it makes your throat feel so much better. I'll give you some cough drops and I will encourage you to drink lots of water. You need to drink like a bottle of water every class period. You're welcome to come in every class period and gargle. It makes your throat feel so much better. Take DayQuil, NyQuil, Advil at home. That's all I can do for you. I don't have any allergy meds that I can pass out. But that's what I can do for you today. But as always, remember, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay, bye-bye. Whew, I was thirsty. Welcome to this week's edition of Jeff's coat. You ever have the urge to pee? That need to go wee? Well, let me explain how intense this process can be. Your body filters 200 liters of blood every single day. That's, uh, in fact, 100 of these. 100 of these of blood pumps through your little bitty kidneys. Now, out of that blood comes excess water, unused nutrients, salts, and then waste products as well. And we call that urine, okay? How much urine? One of these. In fact, you will pee, on average, in a good, healthy adult, Two liters of pee every single day. So just remember, two liters a day keeps the doctor away. We'll see you next week on Jeff's Coat. Thank you, everyone. That's this week's edition of BHNN. I'm Colin. And I'm Aiden. We'll see you guys next week.